I'm here, sir, for days, done no freaking argument. Welcome to the weekly episode of Narcos Coffee Podcast, the Tug of War Podcast. Today is episode three. We got our coffee, we got Mama War sponsorship for the show, and I have to proudly introduce my very special guest. He's a good friend of mine, legendary UK artist. One of the foundation dancehall artists who set the pace for dancehall in England after welcoming the hot seat, Glamour Kid. Yo, Tuggy, 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 big up yourself. Big up, my brother, man. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up respect, up, bless up, Good to see you, my brother, man. Yes, thank you. How you been, Glamour, man? Yeah, man, I've been cool, Tuggy. Been man. good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Cool, good, man. Some of the work, I see yeah. you back on the grind. I see you. I like it. I yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back on the grind again. Yeah. can't, because you know what I mean? Everybody's doing their thing. I see you. I put out beer things. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> don't stop work. Don't yeah. stop work. You get me? I just want the people to hear me this time you get yes like definitely how, like how the internet's there it's yeah. makes it much easier you get absolutely this is this is even what i was saying to you it's the whole point of me even inviting you up here yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's that transition in the business now oh, where yeah. we have to kind of do things like this true true do you understand true, what i'm saying true, to get the true. audiences true and true. it's like it's the third week i've done my podcast and it's the third one and like i was looking see. forward to bringing you up respect because you're an icon you're a good friend of mine respect, you know what i mean and i'm happy to see you take on the road again respect and do with the business like that so i have to welcome you to the um, podcast right now. You get me? So I know you're a coffee fan. Yeah, so yeah. this is the finest Colombian coffee. <laughs> wicky, 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 <laughs> you get me? Wicky, wicky. And Mama War sponsors the show. Yeah. Yep, with some amazing today. We've got some rock cakes, oh, chocolate chip bless, rock cakes. So yeah. go ahead bless, bless, and tuck bless, into bless, that. Bless, bless, we got Mama War for the chocolate chip <laughs> rock cakes. I have to be, we got one Dino inside the building. <laughs> See me, I said, enough love. Bandino mix one inside one the place. Um, use milk, innit, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. You're welcome, my brother. You're mm. welcome. Welcome to the show, Glamour mm. man. So yeah, so you're back on the road recording and everything. Mm. I see you performing. Talk to me, what's good? What's going on? Man just been basically yeah. getting down to recording. Mm. You get me, working on some new videos as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. You get me? I've got a tune that just come out with a, a production company called Dial Town Productions. Dial Town. Mm, okay. From Jamaica still. You we got me? Dial Town Productions, mm, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They work with Bushman, yeah. all the artists from Jamaica, you get me? They're the nice. still, you get me? Wicked, wicked. So basically... They're based in Jamaica In well. Jamaica, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Internet based still, yeah. you get me? Mm-hmm. So I just put out um, I'm Not Afraid on the military military march rhythm. Okay. Yeah, is that the old school military? Or like an, a no, reform? It's a, it's a oh, military one. march rhythm, is that yeah, the rhythm? Yeah, okay, wicked. Rhythm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it came out Christmas, it came out Christmas Day still. It's doing all right still, you get me? Wicked. Danny English is on the rhythm. Danny's a bridge in an yeah, old school yeah. friend. You know, daddy daddy yeah, 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 but that yeah. old school friend, me and Danny's yeah, got old yeah. school stories. We used to part together in Jamaica. See, like, is he on the rhythm, yeah? Yeah, he's on the rhythm. Ah, yeah, man. And a youth named Navino. I don't know if you know him, Navino. Navino? Yeah, Navino. Navino. It sounds familiar. Yeah. Is he, is he up and coming? Is he new? Yeah, I think he might be up and coming. Big yeah. up Navino. Big up, Navino. Big up the whole Dial Tone. Yeah, yeah, man. Big up the whole Dial Tone production. And so it's the whole juggling on it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the whole juggling on it. You can get on it on YouTube. Is it on YouTube? So it's not iTunes yet or anything yet? No, no. What's something called Military March? Military March, yeah. Yeah, Military yeah. March, check so out the rhythm. Glamour latest single, what's it called, my brother? That one's called I'm Not Afraid. <laughs> I'm Not Afraid, and you got some visuals coming out for yeah, it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because it's all the business has changed, isn't it, Glamour? It's all yeah, the visuals. Yeah, you've got to have the visuals to go with it. You've got to yeah. have the old package. I'm, you get I'm, me? I'm looking forward to your visuals. Seriously. Because Seriously. You, you, you're one of the first dance artists who gave us. Big budget videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big budget visuals. That yeah, was on yeah. MTV. Yeah, man. We'll yeah, get man. into that in a bit as well. But like, mm. you was the first man to say with like some proper visuals. Like, mm. them man that had, let me like, them man that had 50 grand budget, 100 grand man. budget videos mm. and shit. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, them man yeah, had them yeah, big yeah, budget. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There, was, there was some. So it's like, Obviously, the whole visual game has changed now. It doesn't even yeah, cost so yeah. much. You don't need to put that much in. No, no you there. don't need to put that much in. Mm-hmm. It's all independent now, but it's very visual. I think yeah, it's yeah, a great yeah. time. I'm glad to see you respect take on the game. Man. Respect, man. Respect, 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 So, you see, in this podcast now, Glamour, mm-hmm. every week what I do, yeah, mm. I pick five topics. Okay. Yeah, and um, we discuss them topics. Mm-hmm. So, topic number one mm-hmm. for today mm-hmm. is, to me, is a, like an epidemic what's going on mm-hmm. in America and it's flu- filtering around the world. Okay. A thing called, I don't know if you're familiar with it, a mm. thing called lean. lean. So topic number one is lean. lean. You know what lean is? No, no. Right, okay. Lean is this stuff that the hip hop art is actually taking in America. It's, yeah. it's like codeine mixed with Fanta. Okay. So okay. like they're getting Fanta, 
Yeah? Mm. And they're getting codeine. Mm -hmm. And they're mixing it together. Same. And it's it's got an effect where it's it's like some liquid heroin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the mixture. Same. And the kids are drinking it. You see, they're all in with the big tall cups and red and, and mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever hear the lyrics in some of the rap songs like, yeah, I'm drinking lean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people might not be familiar with it. It's this mm. thing where I, I, I thought I'd bring this up this week and Same. start the podcast with this topic. Because I think mm -hmm. it's an epidemic because it's like us as veteran artists, like, like you never even heard of it. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. It's, it's a thing that the kids are cra crazing onto. Okay, okay. And I think it's, it's, it's going in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, hard yeah. drugs in a drink form. See, it's, see. it's destroying the kids. They're, they're having like seizures. Yeah. I think there's an artist called Fredo who just died the other day and this artist dying left, right and centre because of overdosing and there's young kids taking yeah. it in America. See. You know what I mean? So I was like, I wanted your opinion like on these new type of drugs coming in because back yeah. in the day it was just like weed. Yeah, I, know, I mean, yeah, hard yeah, drugs yeah, have yeah. always been there. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But it's just in the dance or hip hop scene, you would just say it's like weed and Mm -hmm. Liquor mm -hmm. with the main consumptions. Now they got the use, they're having this crazy shit. Yeah. Lean. Yeah. I like, I can't get my head around it. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. That's I crazy. can't get my head around it, bro. That's crazy, that's crazy. That is nuts, that's bro. That's crazy. So it's like a narcotic, yeah? It's like a narcotic. You know what? It's like codeine. Cough Sick. medicine. Oh, cough medicine. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're finding legal ways to get legal highs. Okay. So okay. it's like, it's cough medicine, to, yeah. to my belief. I swear, like, they, some of them, they're using cough medicine. I think there's all it's different like, types like, of like, it. Like Yes. Little Wayne, actually, I have to say that Little Wayne is responsible for this. <laughs> if you ask me, <laughs> no, no, disrespect. Little Wayne, you're responsible for this bullshit, man. I don't give a fuck, man. I mean, Little Wayne, you're a great rapper and everything, but you see this lean, but he's responsible. He's the one that started it. They're mm. all offsprings of Little Wayne. Mm -hmm. Little Wayne's Farquhar. because mm. he was the first man years ago to say. Remember, it was a secret, but what? And then we find out he's drinking this, and he's been various times. In hospital over it, mm -hmm. his health suffered from it because of, over, this, because of this thing called lean. Mm -hmm. Now Wayne has become one of the <laughs> biggest rappers <laughs> in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lil Wayne is responsible for Drake. Mm -hmm. Lil Wayne is responsible for Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. Lil Wayne runs Young Money, mm -hmm. coming from Cash Money, Bird Birdman. Like Lil Wayne is, he's made himself. He's one of the top lyricists in the hip-hop game mm -hmm. and one of the biggest selling hip-hop artists in recent times mm -hmm. ah, it's a bad role model man mm -hmm. i mean it's a bad i sound like a bad thing it reminds me of you know what there was a yeah. next new drug called um called nct48 i don't know if you heard about that one what's that another little substance yeah it was nct nct48 this, this one's supposed to make you into a like a uh, big mogul, you get me? Somebody who can shake people's hands and give you confidence and all them things there, you get me? It's like a pill. It, there was a movie about it as well, NZT4. Isn't that similar to like MDNA? Even, doesn't MDNA yeah, do yeah, that yeah, kind of thing as well? Same sort of thing, same sort of thing, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. this one called? NZT48. Fucking hell, what's it meant to give you confidence? Yeah, it? give you confidence and it makes you into the man. It makes you, that's what it says, it makes you into the man. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't give you a high, it just puts you on a like a person that can meet people, do meetings, mm -hmm. go and meet people and you get me, socialise and be at, wow. your, be at your most positive, you know. But that's that's NCT just that's 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 crazy. That's, it's crazy. So what yeah. is it? What sort of substance is that? It's a pill, it's a pill. Oh it's this yeah, it's, it's a pill. pill. But there's a movie about it. How would people well. even trust where they get them from the internet and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy, crazy, man. Crazy. Yeah. Sick man. Mm. So with the fear of that? Uh, basically, I watched a movie about it. <coughs> okay. I watched a movie a long time ago, about a couple mm. of years ago. My brother didn't lend me the movie. I can't remember what the movie was called, NCT 48. Mm. I think the movie might have been called, or it might have been called something else still, you get me? Right. That's definitely what the drug was called, right. NCT 48. And everybody Fuck was taking it. it in the movie. Yeah. NCT 48. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Shit, and that was a movie. Yeah, yeah. And that, I think that's like a version of like MDNA and, and ecstasy and... Yeah, and it's that like that shit. It's around them sort of lines. Yeah. I remember he was doing enough partying and everything there and right. party in the club, you get me? Yeah. Like that sort of tip there. Like, shit. You know that sort of ecstasy sort of tip. Yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. See, this lean thing now is a different level. See. It's a different level. Little Wayne 
He's been drinking it and promoting it for years. But the younger rappers now, mm -hmm. who everyone like, you want to be like Little Wayne. Like younger rappers are coming up saying, "I want to be like him." Mm -hmm. They start doing what he's doing, mm -hmm. drinking the drink. Now it's becoming to an epidemic where they're all doing it. Future raps about it, but apparently he doesn't do it. Uh -huh. I think this is crazy. So you're promoting. Like, I can understand like we sing about weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. For real. And we sing about liquor. Mm -hmm. But I don't agree with. Singing about something that's going to be really destroying people, destroying people and destroying yeah, it's your bad, health. It's bad, man. It's and, bad. And, and, and if the music, because music is very, you know, it can very inspire people to do things. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg are, are, are responsible for making a lot of people smoke weed. <laughs> mm -mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nowadays, you've got a little way in making people take lean mm. and the new artists in hip-hop yeah. which is codeine mixed with fanta mm. that's absolutely giving them seizures it's, it's killing them i don't mm. see why they would want to do it it's just nuts like mm. people please kids listen mm. like weed alcohol should be more than enough and those two substances aren't great like i smoke weed i have a drink when i'm ready mm -hmm. and we're not crazy proud of being smokers and that you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, like yeah, I'm, I'm i'm actually cutting down how much weed i smoke yeah do you know what i mean and like i think like you know, people need to be aware of their health and like weed and alcohol is obviously a party been in party atmospheres and artists not to mention the hard drugs that artists mm -hmm. come across yeah. Okay. And it's in the music industry. I think drugs and poison are two different things, yeah? Yes. And when them boy I drink It's poison. Mm -hmm. It's two different poison, things. Poison, poison. Why would people do that to themselves, man? And they know it's something that's going to put them on a road of, of mm -hmm. destruction. Of, you know, it's something that's going to make them end up in hospital, end up with seizures, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? End up in a bad way. That's a good point, God. And you know, just say, is a difference between drugs and mm. poison. Mm -hmm. And that that's like poison. Mm -hmm. That's like poison, man. That's like... Yeah, man. That's, that is poison. So, like, I think... That's why I wanted to start it on it as well, because I've, 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 I've known about this shit for a long time now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's time for me to say something on it. Because I think it's, it's an epidemic. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And any of my fans listening, I don't fuck with it. You know what I mean? Any people, any too. of my fans or any of Glamour Kids fans as well, like, no, we I don't know. fuck with lean. Mm -hmm. Anyone that I know don't fuck with lean. No one mm -hmm. around me does that shit. Mm -hmm. It's poison. <laughs> and, like, I don't, I don't agree. And I, I, I hope the youth then take on this message some way and just try and stay away from all drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stay away from all drugs and yeah. try and like, live a healthy lifestyle, especially yeah. these poisons. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which is like liquid heroin. If they're doing it to me, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it stems, and it's sad to know it stems from role models. Because rap used to be like gangster rap. Mm -hmm. Used to hear rappers, a lot of rappers are ex drug dealers. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I come from the streets. I used to do what I used to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at what point do the rappers become the users? And, and start singing about using the drugs because they used to start they used to talk about buying and selling it mm -hmm. distribution making money profiting mm -hmm. gangster shit now the whole music's about taking it and becoming a fiend and becoming a a junkie true 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 like people need to check that true, side of the true, music. That drop in standard, right? Drop in there. right. Yeah, yeah, for real. For drop real. in standard, King. For real, for mm. real. The standard drop. Mm -hmm. Because people are people are fucking looking. Like people are listening to music being inspired by this bullshit. When I was making music, that's all the rap music was about. <coughs> man, that was turning money over. That's what it's about to me. And making money, Jay Z. All it's, of them. It's from the streets. We all come streets. from the same shit. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. We all come from the same fucking shit. For real. You know what I mean? There's no difference. Mm -hmm. We all come from the same fucking shit. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And and it's and it's and it's like the streets mm -hmm. making money. People used to like drug dealers have invested in the music business to become superstars. Like Jay Z mm -hmm. was a drug dealer. At what point did you ever hear Jay Z sing about using it? Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Biggie Small sang ten. ten he, he sang a song called "The Ten Crack Commandments." 
You know, remember the Ten Crack Commandments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Never get high on your own supply. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers, that's all they want to do nowadays, is get high. Mm -hmm. Like, so kids, stop it. Like, it's not cool. You're going to end up in a very bad place. There's artists having seizures and dying all over this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you're going to have a little bit of cannabis and drink a little bit of liquor, okay, do your thing. And I don't believe you need anything more than fucking that. Do you understand what I'm saying? For fuck's sake, man. Who yeah. needs more than that? <laughs> if you need more than weed, mm. like, you need to go and check yourself. Should Sorry, this chair is fucking around. Right. Like, you need to go and check yourself if you need more than weed. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you, we, between weed and alcohol, that should be more than enough efficient buzz for you to get your motherfucking buzz on. What you want? Get your buzz on? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about, isn't it? Getting a buzz on. So, a little between weed and a bit of alcohol, I don't think you need any more. So, any other crazy shit, mm. like fucking mixing codeine with Fanta, mm. and then they're mixing it with the hen. I'll get the fuck out of yeah, there, man. Put He's like, in what the fuck? You're trying to poison yourself. Put it in the bin. Rubbish, rubbish. Yeah, rubbish. Man, can I have a look at the notes there for a minute, please? Yeah, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a kid, man. I think, that, I think that's total bullshit. I agree with you, man. I agree with you. Put that in the bin, man. I won't be singing about that in my song. Definitely. I'm very conscious right. of what um, it. I'm very conscious of what we sing about. Mm -hmm. We're conscious of what we write about, what we sing about. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Us, like, we sing from the heart. Mm -hmm. That's how I see music. You're meant to sing from the heart. Yeah. I sing songs like Ganja, Miss Smoke, Come Here, Don't Sniff, Coke, Big Smith, you know what I mean? <laughs> Men are uncertain, Joe. Mm -hmm. That's from the heart. True, true, true. Now, I think Future's a good artist, but if he's singing about Lean, he doesn't even do the shit. What are you trying to fucking sing for the kids? True, sure, man. What's the point? Get rid of the I'm Lean. Not do you understand the it's Get Rid of the Lean? Clean. It's not clean. It's not clean. So, yeah, that was topic number one. We're going to go into topic number two right now. Big up Glamour Kid in the building. Big up, big up. One, you know? You get me. Big so, up Mama War for the cake, though. Yes. <laughs> respect due. Respect due. Thank you. Respect due. Big up Mama War. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. One, you know, you're tasting? Yeah, I'm going to try it yet. I'm going to try it. Big up Mama War. Chocolate chip rock cakes this week. Man. Ramp with me. So, yeah. My topic number two, and this is a good topic for you. Uh -huh. Dancehall mm -hmm. in the 90s uh -huh. and what it's become now. Uh -huh. Is it for the better? Mm -hmm. As it, it's grown, we never had crossovers in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That many. Yeah. You crossed over. Yeah, yeah. You was one of the lucky ones. Yeah, yeah. But main, a lot of dancehall music I wasn't... Think it, I think it's for the better. I think it's for the better. It's for the better, and yeah. the way the artists are, the whole thing, yeah, and everything. I think it's for the better. It's taking a lot. It's taking a little bit longer time. Are you get me? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. The find the money side of things is a little bit different. Now you gotta be in it for the love. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And be willing to do videos and put out music and say, listen. At the moment, I'm not gonna see nothing coming off this. You get me? But yeah. I'm gonna keep working yeah. until I get to a certain point. You get what I'm saying? Till That's I get a good enough, point. Till I get enough views and I get enough people buying my things. You get me? So I think it's changed for the best, you get me like, but like, I, I do miss that, I do miss that kind of, that thing where we used to go to the record shop with the records then in yeah. the bag and say to a man, look, I leave 50 copies with you, you get me, I leave 50 copies with you. And I, I used to do that shit, bro. You yeah. see what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, yeah. And the excitement of going and pressing up your own records yes. and everything there, that was a little, it was nice doing everything there. Yeah, yeah. It was good, it was good doing everything there, you get me, but yeah. now, like everything is just changed. It's just as soon as you do a tune, you put it on the internet, and that's it. The rest of it's internet. You get me? The yeah. rest of it's all. It's all about how much <coughs> you push your tune now. You get me? You got to be able to have a push behind it. You get me? And it's not easy. It's not easy. You have to have a good network. Yeah. You have to have a good network. What I did is what I'm doing. Well, what I'm doing is basically I made a. a a Facebook account, yeah, mm -hmm. called New Songs, mm -hmm. yeah, and all I do is just add everybody, I, whether I know them or not, I just add everybody, and I don't advertise, I'm not going to advertise nothing on there apart from my music, your you get music me? only, yeah, you get me, and I'll advertise the Mandem music as well, you get me, mm -hmm. so basically, it's just about having numbers now, you get yeah, me, as opposed, about... to, as opposed to yesterday, yeah. it was kind of different, because you could go out and you could do a mix CDs, you get me? You could still do them now, mm. but you get me? You would say to yourself, if I do a mix CD now, the reason why I haven't been so fast in doing a mix CD is because yeah. I know that 
people are mostly listening to Bluetooth, MP3, and they're mostly. But listening. there's loads of formats you can put that on. Yeah, there's loads of formats still, you get me? But mm. I'm just saying that I miss them sort of things there. You, you miss the me? format. Yeah, the format. The format was nice. What about the quality? The quality. Some some of the tunes I think I think production. What about the quality? What about no, the artists? No, production wise, production wise, I got. A, did you watch? Did you listen to Cobra? Did you listen to Cobra on uh, on stage? He was on on stage. I missed that one. I missed it. Watch it, watch it. You see Cobra? He yeah. put it in a bag. I think that the well, them have got it right. Yeah. Yeah. But the only thing is the hip hop thing. You get me? If we're talking about dance, mm. I think there's too much hip hop influence coming into it. You get me? And it's taking away. The original the dance, authentic dance or yeah, sound. Yeah, the authentic dance or sound. Now everything sounds too Drake-ish and too Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this auto tune. Yeah, it's too. There's too much of it. You get me? Yeah, I think we need yeah. back some. The whole sounds. Yeah, too. yeah. And I think the authentic sound's been taken by other genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah because hip hop still got it. Yeah, hip hop. They're still too, sampling. Yeah, yeah. Reggae. Sampling, they're sampling the big tune. And they're still doing. Out. They're still putting like. That French Montana song is like a dance song. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 they're, yeah. They're, they're, and they're still sampling it. They're still left sampling. Right still sampling. They, they appreciate the music more than how we appreciate yes, it. You yes, yes, they do. They appreciate it. And that's they why do. we've got to really sit down and think about this, you get me? Mm. Think about this. That I think it it forms from the producers. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. We... We used to work with people like Steely and Cleavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 Mafia and Fluxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave Kelly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, these Sly and Robbie. Yeah, yeah. These guys weren't just producers. Mm -hmm. They're musicians. True, true. My question is this. How many of the young youth them mm -hmm. are learning how to play instruments? Do you know what? I how many of them are becoming like musicians in that sense? Well, I'm not saying mm, 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 I'm mm. seeing that the youths are, mm, mm. but I think the produ the production side of things, it's all very computer okay, yeah. based. Like everyone's doing their thing on the computer, opposed okay. to learning how to play, play a instrument. guitar. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, see, learning so. how to play the how many kids are actually learning how to play, play the drums? The instruments. Yeah, play yeah, the guitar. Yeah, yeah. Play the piano. Yeah, yeah. And how many of them kids like because them producers over the years, the great producers we know, like they they, they were they were good, they were musicians. Mm -hmm. They originally played instruments. Mm -hmm. So before they became producers, they mm -hmm. were masters of an instrument. True, true, true. That's why I even got Lenky was a master yeah, of the piano. piano yeah, right. yeah, 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 for real. Stealing Cleaver were master of the percussion. True, true. Dave Kelly was a drummer. True. Matt Fluxy's drummer. Drama! I know. Mafia Key. And you can hear, because as soon as yeah. you hear a Mafia Flux, you can hear that drum. You can hear it, yeah. You can yeah. hear that you can hear the, the difference. This, the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's music, and I think they found it too easy to make it. Mm. Reasons. Mm, 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 mm. Logics. It's too fucking easy. True, true. Now, it's become to. I think the standards drop. Yeah, yeah. It definitely. It has dropped. It has yeah. dropped. It has dropped. Like even it down the dropped. analog. You, the analog sounds much better than digital. Yeah, yeah. It does. It does. It I don't does. care. It like, does. It does. The digital. The digital shit. It does. Cause I don't want to say this shit, beats, there's some beats, nice some new technology. Some of them are getting slapped up in like five, ten minutes, bro. You get me? <coughs> yes. Them man, they used to think about their rhythms. Yes. You get me? They used yes. to think about a lot of their rhythms and yeah. kind of think about it and before they do it. You get me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have a picture of where they want to go. You get me? This is what I'm saying to you. They have an old idea about it. There's a way to Even the sounds they're using in it. Tuggy, I always said, you know, like, there's a way. When you're building rhythms, yeah, you yeah. can either be in control of the computer or the computer can control you. You get me? Yeah. And sometimes I think that they might have let the computer control them. You That's what me? it is. That's what it is. Because I think it's too, everything's too fucking easy. <laughs> and people are taking, I think the technology in, in music production anyway, when it comes to music production, my opinion is use the technology as a minimal, still use your old school standards. Mm -hmm. But if you're a new school, what are your old school standards? True, true. So this true. is where, this is this is what's happening. Yeah. You know what I want the youth them to do? I yeah. want them to listen more. Yeah. I would love them to listen more to what we were doing. You get me? And yeah. Listen more into like the nice tune from the nineties yeah. and them things. Because I know most of the youth them that are making tunes now, some of them were just like little toddlers them time. Mm -hmm. You get me? And they can't even remember some of the tunes them. You get me? Mm -hmm. But if they're listening. And they can get inspiration from certain things. You get me and learn, yes. learn. Because when I was coming through, I had to listen to the man then before me. 
You get me? I had to. Had to. Had to listen to no my for me. You get me? Remember, I was playing sound system. You I get remember. Me? So glamour, I glamour, guard. glamour guard. Glamour so, guard. So I knew the man them. I knew the rest of the artists them. Yeah. I knew what kind of delivery was needed. Was needed. You get me? So you, you knew what to come with. I knew and what it, to and come you knew with. if you couldn't come with it, it wasn't going to make sense. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. Yeah. I want them to, you know, listen yeah. in a little it's bit. It's the same with me. It's the same with me. We yeah. come up a similar way. Same we knew ways. what we had to come with. For real, for real. Like, for we real. was around people where if we couldn't come with it, mm. it wouldn't even make sense. For real, for real. For like, real. even them two, I was playing your album, Kidology. Mm. <coughs> and, um, I mean, just, I can hear the way he voices the tracks and it reminds mm. me of, like, a lot of my early stuff where I can see it's analogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had to voice that motherfucker. <laughs> like, they don't understand. I you don't. do not understand that. We had to go into a studio mm. and sing the whole song in front of the producer from start to finish. <laughs> that if you can't do, sing the song <laughs> from start to finish, before you get in the booth. Don't play mm. No, do you know what it means to get in the booth? Mm-hmm. Nowadays, people got microphones set up everywhere mm-hmm. and they just say, yeah, I'm voicing the song. Mm-hmm. It was not that mm-hmm. easy. We, mm-hmm. Because we had to go to big producers. Mm-hmm. Big and producers. we had to, and you know what the queue was like outside the studio. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I never even, sometimes me and the producers even clash. The strictest producer, All the, time. the strictest producer I've ever worked with, yeah. Tug of yeah. a man named Jeremy Hardin. 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 He's a hard guy. <laughs> you know I know him. You know, know what? Him. I've you never worked with him. Tuggy, that's why Sean Paul has made it, you know? God. Because you see Jeremy Hardin. Jeremy Hardin looks after Sean Paul. Yeah? I know he does, yeah. And all these tunes, then, he runs. You know, like when you've got a man that goes through all of your tunes, then, mm. you get me, and make sure that your melodies are tight and everything. You get me? That's what Jeremy does for Sean. And that's why Sean ain't losing. You get You're it? right. He's just one of the strictest. You're producers. right. People don't know that there wouldn't be a Sean Paul without Jeremy. There Harden. wouldn't be a Sean Paul. Without a lot him. of people don't know who Jeremy Harden is. Jeremy Harden is the man who made the Sim Simmer, the Sim Simmer rhythm, which yeah, is called playground. the Playground rhythm. Playground you, rhythm. you, what, what? Yeah, you had oh, a big song. Big thing. Big thing. Yeah, big thing. And that mix was crazy. That's what yeah, I was yeah. ask you about that production. So you voiced yeah. that. I built that did myself, you know. Huh? I built that myself. Bless. What you done over the rhythm? Uh, I did over the rhythm. Yeah. You built it yourself? Yeah, I built the rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the ha- the, the, did he... I, what happened? I linked up Jeremy Harding. When I got the record deal... So you done it over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I did it over here. I did it in Clapton. Right. When I got the record deal, I basically um, I basically got two rhythms off Jeremy. Yeah. You get me? But they were like follow-ups to Sim Simma. You get me? Follow-up to the playground. Ju- I got him just when he was hot. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got two rhythms. Off. They're on the album still. You get me? I was going to ask you about that playground version because your one was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a crazy mix. Yeah, yeah. Mad, mad mix. Mad, the mad. mix was mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did it over in Clapton, man. We did it over in uh, Chatsworth Road. Wow. Man, who mixed it? it? Uh, I mixed it. You mixed it? Yeah, it was me that mixed Talented. it. What did you do it on? Uh, it was a Mackie. A Mackie one of them. Mackie, Mackie you know? Yeah. The Mackie yeah. test thing. Analog. On the, the, on the, on, and you save it on the memory on the memory thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Me and Steve, your yeah, name's Steamfish, you get me? Steamfish, okay. Steamfish, yeah, Steve. yeah. He's still doing things, but he's more on the reggae circuit, you get right, me? Right, right. That, that was rock. hard. I thought it was yeah, Matthew yeah. and Fluxy or someone done no, it over. No, no, no. Because the rhythm was hot. I said, how am I going to do it? At the time, the rhythm was hot. I yeah, couldn't get no hot. one to build it back for me. You get me? Oh, yeah. Couldn't you get in contact with Jeremy at the time? No. And I, then, well, didn't no, you try? I didn't I didn't have the contact with Jeremy. Contact with Jeremy. What Jeremy. happened? I was yeah. kind of with Mafia and Flutzy's camp at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought Mafia because they were good at doing over rhythms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, thought they, they did it over. No, they never. They did They did Buster Rhymes. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember their power yeah, supply. Yeah, yes, yeah, they did yes. power supply, but yeah. they didn't do. Um, they never done that one. I mean, did And they did Machino, right? No, no. Clarky and Commander B did that. Oh, see. Commander B did Machino. Yeah, Commander oh, B. Oh, seen, okay. And I worked with Salam Remy later on, you get me? Who did Police Avayaka Pajata Man? Lenky, Lenky. Lenky? Yeah, yeah. Lenky did that, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've worked with Lenky. See, Lenky done see. a few tunes to me still see. on the Ganja album. See, see. Yeah, he produced Tough a few. producer. Bad! Bad, innit? Bad! 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 Bad. 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 One of the Bad. baddest producers, Lenky. Yeah, he produced yeah. the fucking The Wiley Rhythm. Yeah. Everyone knows the Wiley Rhythm. Tough, tough, tough. He produced a song of mine called Party on the Ganja album. And he produced one out, and he played something, cause he's good at that as well. He yeah, played, yeah, he played yeah. phrases on a lot of my tunes see, from see. years ago. Yeah, he's wicked, he, he's wicked at that because a producer would have Lenky yet. Yeah? Mm-hmm. 
Like, he would have the rhythm done. See, see. I like. Yeah. And then he would say, yo, it needs a, it needs a piano on it. Yeah. yeah. And he would call Lanky. And you, and you're, you're in the studio. I've seen it happen because he done it for my tune. I voiced on the rhythm without Lanky's phrase on it. Mm -hmm. When they mixed it, they called Lanky to come play a piano on it. See. And when Lanky played the piano, it was a tune called Dark and Blue, produced by Chester Walker and Chester called up. Lanky to play the piano and he went, I said, Rascal. <laughs> and he done that, you know, like that, like that, you hear on Dr. Dre's track with the, you know, when you hear the piano, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, yeah, the yeah. Tune. That's what fucking Lanky does to see, the tunes, even when it's not his production. Yeah, 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 he's rough, he's rough. He's yeah. fucking hard. That guy yeah. is hard. Lanky's rough, a, see, that's what I mean about. But when I listen, I, I appreciate. Don't you, don't you miss them, man? Well, miss it, so. miss it. Miss it man, I still work with them, blood. See, I still see. work with them, blood. I still mm -hmm. work with Chester. I still see. work with like Lenky. I still work with them where I come. I still get productions with from them okay, as much okay. as I can. I don't leave them out. See, see. Like, I, I, I still will go out of my way to, what to work with. what they to work with what they got. I hear you. I and hear you. Because the quality and it's what I want to hear, and mm -hmm. I'm and I'm a man of standards. Like, like if you listen to my Gunja album, yeah, yeah. every was a, of a standard. See, you understand what I'm see. saying? Like that's the sort of when I'm doing dance all, I don't like you give me a couple of rhythms the other day. I don't yeah. fuck around with like some producers will give me some rhythms and yeah. I won't go on it. You won't go on it. Nah, I won't see, go on it. I've see. turned. I've, I've broke a lot of producers' hearts. See, I've broke see. a lot of artists' hearts by saying no. See, because see. I'm fussy. Mm -hmm. I'm fussy when it comes to that man. Because we got a standard. Yeah, you got to meet that standard. I've got to meet that standard. That. You can't drop that. If I ain't getting the standard that I'm used to, mm. it's like I'm. Oh, I'm gonna make something. I want to make something better than my last record. True, true, true. I don't want to make something. Le Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to make something better than my last record. True. Right. You know what I mean? So like, mm -hmm. if it, so if I'm gonna get rhythms that are gonna lock, drop the standards and the production and that, well, how am I gonna make a better fucking record? To true, me. true, true. Do you know what I mean? The kids ain't looking at it like that. Mm -hmm. They haven't seen it. I know that. Um, like, when you say, "Do I miss that?" I mean, that's what I think. That's what's missing from the business. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the whole topic. But I mean, I mean, when I say miss it, I mean like them man, they're putting out rhythms regular. You get me? They yeah, used to yeah, rhythm, yeah. They've stopped doing they that. They put out rhythms. They used to put out rhythm more regular. You mm. get me? Now they're kind of making the youth them do their thing. You get me? A lot of them have got proteges as well. Did you notice that? Yes, sugar? yeah. A lot well, of them. what you mean like um, young, younger? You, you're younger. They're bringing truth. Let me give you a class, a classic example mm. of a younger mm. who bus. Mm -hmm. Don Corleone. Do you know who's younger he was? See. Steelies. Yeah. He was Steely's younger. See, see, see. And Don Corleone was Vibes Cartel. Oh, Don okay. Corleone did for Vibes Cartel yeah. what Harding did for Sean. For Sean Paul. See, see. Like, in a can I? When I'm like, like, the first cast, see. he made sure the Because Cartel was voicing before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nothing that cool art is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it see. was Dan Corleone who said, this youth's bad, I want to formulate, and sat down and took time with his melodies and time with him in the studio. And when he listened to like all of them, Dead Body Girl, it means like the whole first mm -hmm. four cartel albums or like all his early tracks was produced by Dan. Mm -hmm. And that, because Dan was the same way. Mm -hmm. Dan was of a standard. Do you get what I'm saying? Just like that. And he was, and he was Steely's younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, since Dan... I don't know, man. Like it's it's dropped. Mm -hmm. Like the new, like Stephen McGregor. I like Stephen. Yeah, he's alright. He's, he's alright. All mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No disrespect to Stephen. Mm -hmm. He's not my perfect producer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's 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 got a style that's modern, mm -hmm. and it sounds a bit authentic. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's not it for me. So you're right. What do you think of Sasko? Do you think of Sasko? Have you heard Sasko's production? Yeah. It was Sasko's production. Yeah. Who assassin? Boardhouse. Boardhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that his actual label? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Bordeaux's are bad. Yeah, they're bad still. Bordeaux are bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bordeaux are tough. Yeah, he's got They've got it, but like, the whole problem is now mm. with. You know Suko as well? Suko. Yeah, I know Suko. Suko's bad. Yeah, Suko's bad as no, well. No, Suko's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Suku's crazy. <laughs> Suku's crazy. crazy. Like, they have to know Suku's responsible for for Bella, and, Yeah, Bella, Bella and then Bella, Bella, like, Bella, Bella, Bella. Um, the Lexus tune every day. Me go, me bed, me up. He ripped that whole song for Lexus. Mm -hmm. Them man, they them man, they mad talented. Mm -hmm. Jammies. Jammies. Because yeah. they come up on such a fat sound, King yeah. Jammies. Yeah. Like you're gonna come up on, on that studio. Mm -hmm. it's, it's standard straight standard away. Straight so you got away. it straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of this 
tinny production mm-hmm. needs to cut out. Yeah, man, just making things quickly on their Mac. You get yeah. the quick one. So like, pop, pop it, in their Mac. so do you say like from the nineties to now? Mm. Yeah. Has it got better? Like, because the production fucking ain't for me. Nah, I don't think the production's gotten better. No, nah, which, not, which not... to me, like, you could say there's more crossover dancehall. Mm, mm, mm. But to me, it's not good enough if the production ain't on it. Because I ain't seen enough reggae dancehall in the top 20. Mm, mm, mm. And I think that's strict. And I think that's down to the production mm-hmm. and the way they're making the records. Mm. They're making five minute records. Mm. They're going to last for a couple weeks. Mm. Couple make a little buzz. They get a hot artist on them. True, true. They got a hot artist on them and they'll be hot for like a couple of weeks. Mm. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And then it, it, the buzz is gone. Mm. Because the record don't live forever. Like you hear some of them old school rhythms, they're still playing in clubs. They're still because the rhythm's mm. banging. The rhythm's banging still they're got the anthems. Machino still plays. True, 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 true. Do you know what I'm saying? Like true, these tunes, true. they still play because they're anthems, the way they were put together, they're musical mm. anthems. So I think it boils down to music, innit? Mm. It does, it does. Does. It goes down to music, but yeah. So, did you get any production from Suko? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I got, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. one from him. I got one from him still. What did you get from Suko? I got no. I got two from him. I got two. I got you know the sign rhythm. The sign rhythm. Uh, Beanie had a tune on it. Like, oh, is it worth it? Let me work it. Bye. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. You voice on that. Yeah, yeah, I'm on that, and then you voice one for me on my album as well. Yeah, you get me. But I spoke to him the other day. I'm waiting for him to send up a new thing. You get me when he yeah. sent it up. I'll send it on to you yes, as well. You yes, get me, yes, yes. So yes. I'm just waiting to just waiting to hear from him still. You get me? Yeah, 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 you know yeah. Big him up for me as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because Suko was actually one of the first guys to know it's me in Jamaica as well when I was part of Lexus because he's he's mm. friends with Lexus. See, he see. produced. Good Lexus is a wicked artist. The only wicked reason why artist. Lexus, the only reason why Lexus ain't made artist. it back properly is because Steely and Cleavy ain't around. You get me? If they were around, a good fucking point. If they were around, he would have been right. murdering them because he had some wicked. You know shit. what? You're right. He had some wicked. Shit Lexus right. lost his producer when Steely died. Yeah, yeah. So and when Steely died, he lost his producer. He's a wicked artist, though. He lost his producer because he was like that was they had their crew around there. I used to be around mm-hmm. there. I used to be around there with them every day. That was a crew they had around there. Sick, sick. That was the whole crew of artists. At the time, yeah, it was man. Lexus, Buccaneer, mm-hmm. Red Rat, mm-hmm. who passed through, Famous yeah. Face, sick. Um, a few others as well, like Ele- mm-hmm. Elephant would be uh, on there. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like They'd have a certain... Uh, but Lexus was one of Steely's priorities. Sick, sick. I knew that Lexus was one of... Ste- every time Lexus put a rhythm, uh, Steely put a rhythm out, you know you're going to hear a strong Lexus yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. The Lexus was going to be strong, mm-hmm. even compared to some mm, some of the other tunes them on the rhythm. Mm-hmm. You can see him take a little bit more time with the Lexus mm-hmm. record. Mm-hmm. Cause like Cook killed it, Ring Off Miss Ellie mm-hmm. killed it. Like we got Lexus, Jigga and Breda. Cause you see, Alexis is the man to put me on. You know, see, people see. don't know that. Yeah, okay, I okay. have to pay homage to Lexus. Like, okay. He, he's the man to put me on. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. he's the man to put me on. Like, see, see. If it weren't for Lexus, I wouldn't have got in the studio mm-hmm. in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. When, when, when I was yard, yeah? Mm. See, see. When I was in yard. See, i got to say thanks to Budja, but he's locked up still. Mm? He's in jail. Budja's the one that put me on still. Budja put you on? Yeah, he's right. yard still. When yeah. I went to yard, it was him still. Yeah. That kind of helped me. And Cabra. Mm. Cabra's helpful as well still, you get me? Them mm. two. Big up Budja and Cabra, you get me? We got Budja and Cabra. Bounty, my favourite artist. I met, I met Budja the day after I did the first thing, my mm-hmm. first thing in Jamaica. Because mm-hmm. he, he saw me mash up the sting. See. And then I became good friends with Budja. No, like, he used to go around the studio every mm-hmm. every week. He used to do meetings mm-hmm. around there. Every Wednesday, they'd have an artist meeting. And See. everyone would go around there. See. And we'd all like, get together. They'd all put bare seats in the middle of the car park. And everyone would sit down. And Budja would just talk to everybody. Is, See. Uh, general that, man. I can't wait for Budja to yeah, reach. Yeah, I was talking about me and my yard I watch YouTube. Mm. So I said, let me watch one one video now. Must say, 2000 I'm from, 2004. Yeah. Me never know I say you did Depp on it to Rati. A shut up. You didn't know. What one? Um, Vibes Cartel, Birdie. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, me never know I say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know that. <laughs> we see it. Yeah, 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 yeah we see yeah, it. Yeah. That's what I'm at, like, that stage Check show. it out, you know. Check it out. Yeah. Vibes Cartel, Birdie, by 2004. Tell me Depp on it. Real talk. Check Real it talk. out. Check it out. Check it out. Real talk. Like, yeah. 
I was I, I mashed up Jamaica wicked man. See, like see. it's not a show I didn't fuck up man. See, Every see. show I did yeah, Stone Love Anniversary see. twice and like two years in a row. See. Did Sting two years in a row. See. Did Cartel's birthday bash two years in a row. Yeah. Champions in action. I was performing seven nights a week. Right. Too. Maybe three, four shows a night. Man mm. was like not sleeping. See, man. See, see. For months. Mm, 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 mm. Like it's crazy, like, I have, to, I have to big up Lexus because I got released out of prison. Yeah. Met Lexus. Mm -hmm. I got released out of prison in May. I'm booked on Sting by September. Yeah. That's three, four months out of prison. Mm -hmm. I'm booked on Sting. See. Do you think that's easy? Mm -hmm. I was up and down like a madman, like a yo-yo, mm -hmm. running around, running around the whole of Kingston. See. Bandino City in there, I mean. Of Prazi, yeah. Yeah, so like when I when I was out there, bro, it was crazy, man. I was mm -hmm. doing like four shows a night, mm -hmm. running around. Mm -hmm. So in the space of three months, I got booked for Sting. Yeah, and Lexus was putting me in all the studios. See, see. And like he was yeah, at the time, Lexus was hot. Mm. Lexus was like vibes cartel at the time mm -hmm. because he had all the tunes that was like he like see Cook and all them tunes that they were still hot and see, everything see. he was voicing was hitting. See, so he see. he was. He had bare stage shows, see. and every show he'd go, I, he used to call me up on his show. Mm -hmm. So I had like prime time at every event see. because see. of Lexus, because okay. he'd be like the main act. Okay. And in the middle of his set, while he would like want to take a breather, he'd call me up in the middle of his set see. to perform a couple of songs. I saw the people them, and, I'm, and I mash up every single show <laughs> until <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like every like, as the man put me on stage. <laughs> <laughs> mash up the place see, and I'm see. talking about every show night after night yeah, yeah. where it, in no time mm. and at the time there's no social media see, no social see. media at the time and in no time man was man was like the talk of Kingston the talk of Jamaica the see. white boy we are far with Lexus everyone said the see. white boy we are far with Lexus I mash up the place <laughs> do you get what I'm saying yeah, yeah. So until I mash up a dance with, and Leng was there so what would you say if he was out there a little bit longer you reckon things would have even <laughs> what would have happened? It would have been mad. Serious. It would have been crazy. See, see. It's you crazy. Reckon, what, do you reckon you needed longer out there, or you reckon you did the right thing coming back? Everything for a reason. My pub, I had to come back. Okay. okay yeah, I had okay. to come back. I, I, everything for a reason. I don't regret anything. See, you know what I mean? See, I mean, see. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to because Steely built a rhythm for me. Mm. I had a, Steely and Cleavy, I had a record contract to sign for Steely yeah. and Cleavy. What? Yes. See. About what was it five albums? What? And it was like a 50 50 deal. See, see. And I was gassed because there was no money involved. Okay, it was just okay. a contract. Mm -hmm. But just to get the chance to record for Steely and Cleavy, yeah, would have been a he was trying to sign me to his label. Right. So I was going to be a, a Steely and Cleavy artist. See, see. With their labels called 2000 at the time. 2000, yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah, so I was going to be a Studio 2000. Yeah, so yeah. I was going to be a Studio 2000 artist. He, 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 I was going to be restricted to a voice for him only. Yeah, yeah. The same sort of contract Sean's got with Jeremy, the same sort of contract Sham's got with Dave. With Dave, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. was that what Steely yeah, yeah. gave me the contract. Even yeah, yeah. I had the, the contract still in my apartment in Kingston. Yeah. He, he got the solicitor to draft up, but even pay the solicitor because his solicitor mm. is onto the studio, the studio and yeah. the solicitor is one building. See, see. So is, where his studio is, is, is the solicitor was actually part of the building. So he walked mm. out the studio and walked into the solicitor's door. Mm. <laughs> and drive up because that's how quick he does contracts. See, yeah. See. yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck around with Steely. Because Steely, you can't go in Steely's booth without signing a contract. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. They no. don't fuck about it. I'm one of them studio there where you can just voice. Mm -hmm. You, like other studio, you might be, you know, other studio they give you a run in other booth, and you know, yeah. they made a dinner. Yeah. You're not running a Steely. Mm -hmm. No fucking chance. You, Steely, you ain't getting in Steely's booth. Unless he wants to voice you, mm. unless he's decided he wants to work with you, mm -hmm. and once he decides he wants to work with you, then he's gonna draft up paperwork. Yeah. And you know, and the worst thing is his solicitor's next door. He literally walks <laughs> out one door mm -hmm. into the other door and tells the solicitor, and it's probably contracts that he does regular. So the solicitor is probably just okay, yeah, ready. Right and they walk out the door back into the studio with the contract. The stu the, the solicitor. <laughs> Dina, one million. Oh, the suite, the suite. And only two businesses in that, that building, yeah. And it's in uh, the solicitors and Studio 2000. Mm -hmm. Man. So the solicitor is built Man, the on. Solicitor the solicitor living in the building. The solicitor living in that building. Man. I don't know if he lives there, but the office is there. Man. So the man walk out the studio into the solicitors to get the fucking contract. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing I had to fly back to England. 
mm-hmm. because m- my father was locked up. See, see. Check out the documentary Tug Life on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Show tells you about the whole story. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? So that's I didn't get the chance to record because he built Sleepy Dog with him for me. And we wrote the song see. for it together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And everything wrote the song together. With the ch- we, I voiced the demo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was recording for because you know Mr. Pepper is Steely's little brother. Yeah? Yeah. Mr. Pepper, yeah. Mr. Pepper. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mr. Pepper is actually Steely's little brother. Okay, that's why he's so tough. He's a tough guy. He's a tough guy, isn't it? Tough, man. Tough. I'm waiting for him to come as well. I'm yes. He's actually Steely's little brother, so I was Steely. Pepper was one of the only guys who could use Steely Studio. See, see. Pepper was one of the only guys who could use the studio. So okay. Ste- Pe- you would see Pepper because Pepper is Billy Williams as well. Yeah. I bought some Peppers. With, Peppers produced a track on my Friday's album called "I'm Not Joking." See. They sampled they, Baby Shan's voice in that. Bad, yeah. bad rhythm. Yeah. And I, vo- I voiced that around Steely's. Okay. And, okay. And, but, but he mixed it around mixing lab and get Bobby to mix it. See. Around see. a mixing lab. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Mr. Pepper, we got Mr. Pepper then. Big so up, Studio Two Thousand. So I think yeah, th- this these things are missing. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. From the business, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. these things are missing from the business mm-hmm. because every, everyone everyone's doing things mm-hmm. like so. I think the whole effort into making the record is getting less and less. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the musician, I think the vocalist is nice where the vocalist can voice in their own environment, mm-hmm. but the production needs to be on point. Mm-hmm. Definitely, the production needs to be on point, bro. Really needs to be on point. So like, I I, I don't know when it comes to me. I mean, dance. So I think, yeah, it's it's grown, mm-hmm. it's grown and everything, mm-hmm. but um, it's still it's it, it, it can't grow and the production doesn't grow. Mm-hmm. You know, everything needs to grow because when I listen to hip hop, the production's got better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I listen to hip hop, you think it, you think it's got better? Of course, yeah. it has. See, see. No, there's no comparison. Mm-hmm. Hip hop's only advanced. Mm-hmm. Every other genre has advanced. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To be honest with you, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not saying reggae and dance hasn't advanced. Of course it has, but in the, as, as strong as we would have liked it to, mm-hmm. like we said, it's sounding a bit too hip hop ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and I I'm a hip hop man, but I like I do hip hop stuff. But mm-hmm. I, when you do dance, you want to hear dance, or you yeah, want to yeah, hear hip hop. Exactly. But I think hip hop's advanced. I mm-hmm. think drum and like all of them other genres, mm-hmm. the sounds of the production's better, man. It's getting better and better and better. They're improving a lot. Even more. though it's not analog no more, it's still getting better. Okay, that's mm-hmm. a big part of the game. The analog, the, but they found the right mix where they're using analog and digital to make nice sounds. Mm-hmm. And other genres are doing it. Mm-hmm. R and B, mm-hmm. hip hop, mm-hmm. all of them other dance genres, even grime. Mm-hmm. The production's crazy. I, mean, I hear them grime records, I say, yeah, that's some, some you can hear there's some live bass, bass lines going on in there. <laughs> there. You know what I mean? There's some pianos go up getting played in there, they got violins going, they even get musical in grime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Production. Yeah, yeah for real, for real. Production. Putting in, They're putting it in. Mm-hmm. And there's a lack of that mm-hmm. in the dance hall world. It's only true. we wait for Dave Kelly to drop a rhythm. It's true, man. I mean, and Dave Kelly ain't dropping that many rhythms. And how many times, how many artists is he putting on the rhythm? Mm-hmm. Me and you ain't going to get to voice on it. Mm-hmm. So like, and do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's it's limited. Mm-hmm. It's limited. Mm-hmm. You might hear, I hear Sean jump on a the Sean will get a good production. Mm-hmm. Dave will get a good production. Mm-hmm. Uh, um Sham. Yeah, yeah, Sham gets a good production. I hear killer on some poor productions. Yeah, oh, ki- oh, killer, killer, killer. Sorry. Killer, I'm not saying anything. Sorry. Killer's got some good tune. Sorry. But no, you have to talk on. He, he's he's done a lot that I think uh, with I think sometimes Killer, you know, Killer likes to bring to a lot of new people. Still, mm, you get mm, me? Mm, I mm. think sometimes he's bringing through some new producers that some some of them ain't hundred uh, percent up to the standard what he was working at before. You get me? Mm. You got to remember the Killers tune them are wicked. You get me? The Killers tune them are wicked. Mm. But some of them, the new ones, some of them need. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, tapping up here and there. Still, you get me? Mm-hmm. You know? Like, I'm not a fan of Killers' new stuff. You're not a fan of Do you think no. killer? Yeah. Yeah. Because realistically, me and say I will leave my man use a little bit. That's right, now nah, that thank you, you hit the nail on the head. No, it depends on who it works with, man. No, it no, I, who works listen, with. killer's a legend, but mm, mm. he's not a writer. Mm, the same for you. I'm a writer. Mm, mm, You're mm. a writer. Mm, mm. Most great artists are writers. See. Well, killer's he, not a writer. No. Huh? No. No, he's not a writer. Like not right. one, like every right. single song is formulated yeah. for him by different people. Like I've, I see it with my own eyes. Yeah. He's got a bag of writers. I thought he wrote everything himself. No, I, I, I mean, I'm a fan. 
Mm, mm, mm. And it was disappointing for me to find out he didn't because I'm a fan. <laughs> and I want to know that you read the shit from your heart. Mm, yes, mm, mm, mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's when I listen to our eyes. Mm, mm. And it was disappointing to find out he didn't. Mm. So I'm, I still got crazy respect for him and he's a legend. Mm. Grew up on his music. Mm. But that whole, like, that whole part of it that he don't write and I'm hearing it now because the records ain't that good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm and like it's, it makes you not as much of a fan. Probably what I did and know, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's what's wrong now. That's what's wrong now. I'd say because you know, like Dave Kelly was right. I mean, his biggest tunes were ripped by other people. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's a problem. That's a problem. So yeah, great. Uh, great artist, not a great writer. Mm. And I think it's a combination of the two. For you to have longevity anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying he ain't had longevity, mm -hmm. but not longevity of quality. Because. Mm -hmm. Well, Doggy, it looks like you have to link up with Killer, you know? Yeah, I write some shit. I'm not saying anything. No, I never forgot to drop the bag, man. I bet I'm going to write I won't say anything. You can have a Halifax account. I must say, I'm going to call you. 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 <laughs> I don't know why I got on England, man. No, he's, he's fell off because of that, man. He's fell off, and I'm a big killer fan. But he fell off. The writing, poor. Cartel killed him as well. He went, when, he went, when he went against Cartel, that weren't healthy for his career. I think it was all downhill Tony, then. I'm not saying anything. You're not saying anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know what? I listen to your tunes, then, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I listen to your tune. I know that you're a Bounty Killer fan. Yeah, yeah. You get me? I just yeah. know. You I can tell. Know. I can yeah. tell. No, absolutely. I am yeah. a fan. Yeah. I am a Bounty Killer fan. Real talk. Mm. Anyone that will hear my music can hear that. Mm, 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 Do you know mm, what I'm saying? But mm, I think, mm. like, I think I'm a fucking much better version of him. I'm a writer. See, it's true to what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My shit comes from here. Yeah, 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 <laughs> There's yeah, no yeah. one formulating me. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the real world, man. Like, yeah, I grew up on his on his music. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I'm automatically a fan. It was between, when I'm growing up, it was between him and Beanie Man. See, see, so see. it was either a Beanie Man fan. Where are you taking Beanie? I'm a Beanie see. fan to the end as well. I was, I'm always, I'm probably more of a Beanie Man fan now than Killer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm turning into more of a think, Beanie Man fan now. I think Beanie's doing because Beanie's, Beanie's standard, yeah, Beanie's standard hasn't dropped. Okay, okay. Beanie still puts out quality. Mm -hmm. Beanie still puts out visuals. You think he's choosing the right When's the last tracks? time, blood, blood, I'm a killer fan, but mm -hmm. when's the last time I've seen a killer video? When's the last time he's put out quality? Like, Beanie still gives me them tunes. Mm -hmm. I see him put a tune out the other day, he's always jumping on me, he's still active, active. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, killer's like he's too lazy. To yeah, even do a video, yeah, like, it's, yeah. and it's so easy to do a video. I'm sure he ain't even got paid for them people. How many people would be willing to willing to just shoot a video of a killer? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it, and it's just it must be sheer laziness. Because mm -hmm. that's what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah, seriously, it must be sheer. Lazy. He's not hungry for it no more. He's done what he's done. He's got hits. He is who he is. He's made. He's made his money. He doesn't give a fuck. Well, do you know what I mean? That's what I look at it. That. It's about he, he, did make, he did make a good tune the other day, though, I must admit, he didn't make a good tune. Did he? Yeah, with Agent Sasko, the one, um, Do Better Than This, that tune they call Do Better Than This. Wow. Do Better Than This, yeah. Yeah, 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 it sounds, it sounds, it sounds on key. Well, yeah. maybe he's decided he's got to do better than this. Yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Well, I kind of lost off a killer in recent years see, see. in the quality of the music. Well, that's and like he's he's one of them people who tries to I'm, I'm me boss this one I'm me boss that one. <laughs> no, it, the thing with him now is all you know. It's like he wants to claim too much ownership. I'm me boss cartel. I'm me boss Mavado. I'm me boss busy signal. The one of them mentality there, man. He never boss no one really. He never recorded none of them. He never shot a video for none of them. He never got them a record deal. What did you do? Call them up on stage and done some yes man thing. Like allow that sort of ownership for artists like that that make you that that sort of. Mm -hmm. Living like you ain't 50 cent mm -hmm. investing in people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? You ain't signing artists and giving them money and shooting videos for them. That's busting someone. Mm -hmm. You can't say you bust Mavado if you never spent on his career. Mm -hmm. I like it. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, if that's, that's one thing. He claims he bust this one, bust that one. Like, fuck that shit, man. Yeah, worry, about, worry about yourself. <laughs> You know what mm -hmm. I mean? What about yourself, mate? But anyway, fuck killer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next topic. 
Right. Um, how do you find it getting back in the game, Glover? And uh, like after taking a break for a while, mm. how do you find it? Um, I find it. I find it. I, I find it kind of exciting to me. You get me? This yeah. time round, I'm doing things myself. You get me? You see my phone here? My phone runs everything, you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm independent. Little, yeah, my little computer at home, you get me? So, <coughs> it's a bit different, you get me? Before I had management, I was with Chris Nathaniel and the Dream Team, you get me? Yeah, you used to rely on management. Yeah, I used to rely on management to do all these That's all things. changed. It's all changed now, you yeah. get me? But, you know what? I must say, if I didn't love the music, yeah. I would be in trouble. You, you know what? I would be in trouble. Well, you get me because yeah, well said. I would be well strong. said. Real artists. You get well me said. because if I was doing it just for the money at the moment, yes, you get me. You wouldn't. It would be no passion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm so I working. respect that. So don't get me wrong. I'm not broke. You get me. I'm making money. No, of you course. Wait, wait, wait. Watch it. I'm still making money, money off. I'm still making money off mm. Taboo and my other single. I still got my brother, man. I'm very number one. I'm not. Billions of power to artists. Right, right now, actually, you know what you're looking at. One of, there's not many UK artists that got record deals and proper deals, and you're looking at two of them right here, Glamour Kid and no, Cover. <laughs> you know what I mean? True, true, true. Two officially signed UK dancehall artists, right? Mm -hmm. now. You get me history, and I know that. I know mm -hmm. that. You get what I'm saying? Our money can't do Never. Suck on the woman. Yeah, I mean, a billion of pounds worth of our couple of artists, yeah. Gee, <laughs> man, it's it's now, now, real talk, but I respect that so much what you said when you said it's about it's the passion. Right, and yeah, you, yeah. Really, you know what? I respect that so much because you know what? I'm going to tell you straight. I'm a mm -hmm. Glamour Kid fan. Respect, bro. I'm, respect. Like, I, I, mean, I was too, listening man. to your music before I met respect. you. Respect. I listened to your music Real, before man. I met you. I'm a Glamour mm -hmm. Kid and fan. Like, Mad sitting. Big up Sir Venom, Sir Venom bring you to my yard once and we done a we done a song. We've done a few yeah, songs yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. we done that song um, But the link is closed because every Oh you been, know it's it, crazy because we got so many mutual friends. I know it's ever since I've been at you the man's been telling me about you, but I just never did make a link like uh tug a, a youth named Kiddy. Ooh. A youth named Kiddy to tell me about you for the time. Kiddy. You get me? Kiddy. Yeah. Old school Kiddy. Old school Kiddy. So they didn't have the link, but we just never made the link. You get yeah. me? Yeah. But I said, I have a link, Tuggy. You get me? Because you're yeah. doing a hackney and we're representing it. So I have a link. Right. Up and everybody yeah. was saying, you man should link up and do something. You yeah. get me? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Kiddy, man. You get me? And Taco is your legend as well. And Taco. Yes, Taco, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We've had so many mutual friends that we've got tough. We've got you've had people telling you Derek about Barnett, me. Derek Barnett said he knows you well from, well from Shoreditch, from, well from growing up you get corner me. man corner man yeah you get me so, yeah, and Derek Barnett's my Cody you get ah, me like, corner, Derek brother, Barnett's man. into the estate he's an estate yeah. agent now, okay so. he's a estate agent now yeah, yeah, corner yeah, we yeah. got so many we grew up like yeah, so yeah. it's mad how we never cross paths yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's crazy yeah yeah it's crazy but we're literally crazy. like we was literally across the road from each other mm -hmm. literally wow. in the same manner with mm -hmm. one bag of mutual friends <laughs> but never link up but even at like Jetstar, and he was up Jetstar yeah. at the time as well, and I kept See, missing you. Kept... I mean, just like that! <laughs> do you know I used to be, do you know how many times I was in the office? Daddy, See. they used to be, they love this guy, Jetstar, you know. Cool, man. The record company, they love him. Man. I was in the office, they was phoning your phone in front of me, and you weren't See. answering. You know how many times me there, and then my ring up before? See. See. Danny Ray. See. See. You know what I mean? We was missing each other in Jetstar like that. So I, can I come next? Oh, Glamour just left. Oh, no, like, you know that was just yeah, there. He says, yeah, you man. see the out, the Fidesz album coming out and yeah, all man. of that. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I see the posters then. then. Yes, you saw the posters because it was all plastered around right the place. Dead, yeah. was dead. I mm. see it. I mm. see it. Mm. 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 So the link's been there. You get me mm. for man to make it. But Tuggy, to be honest with you, I think yeah. it's changed. It's changed now, and I just basically I'm just changing my team to go with how it's changed now. You get me? Yeah, man. Whether, I don't know if it's better or not yet, because it's still early. You know what, bro? Like I don't think it even matters if it's better or not. Yeah, it's not about that. You just do you it, just gotta, you do it and I like it actually, true, bro. Because true. like what I said, bro, we love the music, bro. It's true. It's true. about the it's about the music. Mm -hmm, for real. For it's real. about the passion of the music, and you see, real musician, a musician for life, king. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Real musician is a musician for life, not because you ain't making as much money as you was. True, and true, all true. Of, nah, true, true, nah, true, nah, true. nah. It's nothing to do with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I respect that because I know you're a man. You've mm. you, you've been on certain platforms like myself, mm -hmm. and the whole business has changed us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We used to be able to make an album and go and cash in instantly, instantly, instantly. And it used to be true. Like we was we was living that lifestyle for a long time. Mm -hmm. Whole business changed, but. Good thing, man, like me and you, we love the business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Do you know what I mean? And I respect that so much because that's all that matters at the end of the day, the music, the legacy, the music, mm -hmm. the love for the music. True, like, man. money comes and goes, man. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. Fuck true. money and mm -hmm. hype and all that real shit. That comes and goes. For real. Just the blessing to be, to be here. Yeah, for real, for real. You know what I mean? That's a, like, I give thanks to be able to do it. For real. You know that, Dino? Yeah. Like, I give thanks, Glamour. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you feel the same way. For Just real. to be able to do it. Yeah, man. I'm going to think about why, like, um, like re regrets and fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be, I can turn on the go in the studio now and voice another hit. I'm happy to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And be tug of war and be an artist and explain. You know what I mean? That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the biggest blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the biggest. So like, I'm so happy to see you take take the business back and really? have the passion for it because you know, it's like, bad, it's the passion we listen to, it's and bad. that's what that's what we're involved in music for in the first place. And I think that shows mm -hmm. longevity because like, we're longevity artists because mm -hmm. of our passion for the music, mm -hmm. so, right. not because we come to cash in quickly mm -hmm. and dress up funny. Mm -hmm. like weirdos <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and put on some mad swagger and fucking true. funny f looking hairstyles and true, true, a true. one bag of idiot sort of you know what I mean mm -hmm. we're never coming out of business like that we're coming out of business because of the pure passion mm -hmm. for the business mm -hmm. people might say even me down to what I, I don't give a fuck about it's only in recent years that I'm more conscious of swagger mm -hmm. I couldn't give two shits I care about music sing, sing, sing. me as a man I'll turn up I'll turn up at the video shooting anything Sing, sing. God, I got more passion for the music than, yeah, yeah, than yeah. the whole thing, you know. When people take the whole, mm -hmm. the whole presentation more serious than a style over substance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Man, they wanna 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 wear like five thousand pound worth of clothes, and your mm -hmm. tune ain't worth a fiver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta suck your mother. Mm -hmm. They don't make it. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's what yeah. I like, yeah. 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 I'd rather wear five pound clothes. But my tunes were five million. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but like what I said, it's not about money anyway. It's mm. not about money. It's about the passion for the music. Do you get what I'm saying? It's about the passion. And I know that you're passionate like me about it. It's wicked. Mm. I look forward to the new rhythm them as well. Yeah, definitely. And they need, they need to hear the toggle. Well, we need to formulate a new toggle or glamour kid track. Yeah, man. Definitely. Video, everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we'll be back up here at the podcast to advertise it and talk to it about you, to, to you guys and that. You get me? So, yeah, so like another topic, which is my last topic. Obviously, me and you have been signed before, mm -hmm. so we know what it's like mm -hmm. to be signed to the companies mm -hmm. and all of that, mm -hmm. and the benefits that come with it, and then our disadvantages as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which I experienced, I'm sure you experienced as well with signing. Mm -hmm. And is signing the way forward or independent? How do you feel about it? You know, I was talking to somebody, <coughs> I was talking to uh, a friend of mine, uh, a singer called Rowena, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday about the same thing. Mm -hmm. She was saying that I was asking her if she had any links at the label. Mm -hmm. she, she was saying she had some links at Island. Island Records, yeah, yeah. 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 But basically... Um, I was going to do a deal with them not too long ago as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. But basically, she was saying that you don't need a record label now. Mm -hmm. Today, you don't need a record label. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I still want a record label because I had one. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But a lot of the artists, they don't... You really still want a label? I'm, I'm, I've got a publishing deal with, um, with Universal... <coughs> but my record comp my record label though well is that that's that's dead, that's yeah. dead yeah from 2002 you get me i was so happy mm -hmm. to get out of the, to get out of my fucking you happy? i was so fucking happy i was so happy serious oh like that shit mm -hmm. upset me for years man mm -hmm. i wasn't i wasn't happy uh, I, I was so i, was happy. I mean happy. i missed certain things out of it because mm -hmm. i had a mm -hmm. i had a five album deal with jetstar okay 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 and every album the money was going up mm -hmm. <laughs> to fucking advance. Mm -hmm. So I was upset that the company went down okay. and I didn't get to cash in on the other four albums. Because mm -hmm. the whole deal was worth quite a lot see, with the see, whole albums. See. I only cashed in off the first album. Okay, okay. But then, like, they were trying to take the war out of Tugger as well. They were trying to restrict me from saying see, things see, like Saki I remember okay. the AR day. <laughs> <laughs> Blood, Danny Ray must have heard after they done signed me and everything. Mm -hmm. Red tear, tear, but he must have heard one of my mixtape tracks. Uh, uh. And it was a gunman trying it was like, Go suck your mother, pussy chat to me, Mac 10, something like that. See, yeah. see. And Danny Ray said, You can't tell people for go suck them, man. I'm just going to the man. Are you going to suck Danny Ray? I was like, Blood, do you know you've signed? <laughs> <laughs> you are in fucking. 
fucking problem. Because you know, you just you weren't allowed to smoke weed in 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 the, in the studio. Yeah, yeah, they had to yeah, change yeah. that rule for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not allowed to do it. No, yeah. me. Mm. I said, call Mr. Palmer. <laughs> Blood. The that, day after they signed me, they said to me, I'm not allowed to smoke in the studio. The worst thing is, I know they was voicing some big singer a couple weeks ago, Freddie McGregor, one of them man that was in there. And I know he was smoking <laughs> weed. I just threw him there. Just threw one big star coming there. And I know he was smoking weed because the engineer told me. <laughs> and I said, one minute, you just not just signed me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, done, they give me the check, check, cash out here already, you know, you know? <laughs> so I've got the money in the bank and I've gone in there to go and record my first song. Yeah. They said, you can't smoke in the studio. I said, excuse me. Mm, I said, call the owner of the record company. That, yo, Mr. Papa comes down. I light up in the studio. Big spliff. I sit down by the engineer, man. Big spliff. Mr. Papa coming out of the room, man. I said, what are Mr. Papa? I said, 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 like, if I, I, I'm not going to be comfortable yeah. if I can't smoke. Man, you, no, you're going to spend this money. They just spent money on me. No, you, I'm no, just no. telling you, this is part of me at your investment, right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just spend money for me, right? Yeah, you, you, want, you want the best out of me? I'm yeah. going to have to sit down next to this desk and smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It ain't going to work in your way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he was cool. And everyone was shocked. And he raised his <laughs> looking at the, the, the A&R's like this. At least the engineer's laughing. Because he's thinking, yeah, I can smoke that as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who again? Fitzroy. Fitz. Oh yeah, Fitz, yeah, 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 yeah. Fitz, Fitz, Fitz. Yeah, yeah, Fitz. Yeah. Fitz was the engineer, so it, so Fitz was happy. So yeah, because yeah, he, he, he loves smokes, his. Fitz yeah, Fitz smokes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like he, he was like over the moon about it. Yeah, so yeah. we did the whole for days album, blazed out the whole studio. See. Fuck that shit. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah, there was disadvantages, man. I feel like I was happy to come out of it because I didn't like the whole percentage thing. I didn't like see, my deal, see. man. I was sorry, Jetstar. I, mean, I loved my I didn't, and, uh, you, I, I mean, I, my, my, I'm the opposite for you. T- Mm. But you got about. signed. I remember I got signed to Jetstar. See, see, see. I got, I got, they I got, offered me. They offered me, but mm. I never went with them because obviously Warner's and and mm. Island came. You get me at the mm. same time. Mm. But I tell you what, if Jetstar, if Warner's, ever, Warner's a whole different. If if, if, if Jetstar had offered me after, I would have went with them. Do you get me? Jetstar, it was it was a great company, man. Mm-hmm. Like glamour. Like I love my deal as much as you loved your deal, you know. Mm-hmm. But what I didn't like was the ownership. Okay, okay. I had problems. I'm a boss. Yeah, yeah. I don't I like people it. owning me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying, Dino? I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like people owning my shit. Mm-hmm. That was my problem. Okay. And after, and I brought them London Anthem. Mm-hmm. I brought them Surf. Half of my album was done before they signed me. Mm-hmm. They only produced half of it. So my problem was this. <laughs> Yeah, like, up to today, I still don't. I, I'm still not getting what I want. I'm like, I, I'll be real with you. Like, mm. I, like when the time is right, I'm gonna take someone to court. Mm. <laughs> see, see, see. No, real talk. When the time is right and I'm comfortable, I will take someone to court. Like, I'm not stressing over it enough. I will take someone to court because I'm supposed to own 100 percent of my masters. See, see. And I, I'm, I mean, you no, because Jetstar went bust and sold it to another company okay. called well, Phoenix Music not. International. Like, yes, okay, okay. they sold their whole catalog okay, okay. and all the paperwork's gone. So this company's claiming, so the only way I'm going to have to take that company to court to do mm. and, and like, that's all money and I don't really want to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting paid still, mm-hmm, <laughs> but I'm going to own them. See, see. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, like, it's been many years. Mm. And I still don't own back my first album for days. Something not right. Which, yeah, something not right. Listen, that's why I was glad my record deal, that's why it was a totally different thing with me. My publishing deal mm-hmm. <coughs> was another fucker. I, I, like, I would have had no problem mm-hmm. with the deal mm-hmm. if Jetstar was still open. See, <laughs> see, see. My deal was amazing. Your publishing? Both of them. Okay. okay. I had a great deal of Jetstar. Mm-hmm. I, the, the deal I got, you wouldn't get. See, see, see. No other artist was going to get that from Jetstar. Mm-hmm. I got a five album deal, and every album I go up, you know, mm-hmm. advance, you know. Mm-hmm. The fifth album was a mad advance. You know, see, see. So, like, if, the, if they stayed open and I did the whole five albums with them, mm-hmm. I would have been happy as Larry. Mm-hmm. But when they went bust after the first one, mm-hmm. and I lost ownership to, to, to my first album, which I half owned that. 
And, and I only got paid for the first album and I, and I didn't get, and some of the sales, I got paid what was on the contract, but I know they sold more than they, I didn't get paid for is what I should have mm. with the sales. But because the company with us, it was hard to really pressure a company. Like, I know, I used to see uh, Gregory Isaacs in there every Friday. Mm. Blood. I see pe people going in there with straps to get money off of Mr. Palmer. Do you know what it's like in there on a Friday? <laughs> Bloody, it was a war zone when it was closing down. <laughs> when Jetstar was closing down, it was a war zone. <laughs> it was a war zone. <laughs> Man came up to me and said, did you get your money? Yeah, I just about got, you know, I just about got my money. Mm. It took me a year to get the money. Mm. Just about. It was a war zone. There were people in there didn't get money. Enough people didn't get paid. Enough people's albums that they put out, they didn't get that money. Jeez. I see Gregory in there every Friday. Looking for his coke money. Play with Gregory. <laughs> I don't want to Play with Gregory. I, like, I, see, I, see, Mr. I see Gregory. Gregory just like, because everyone else who got into the reception, Gregory mm -hmm. just goes straight up to Palmer's office. Man. On some boss shit. Mm -hmm. So Gregory just goes straight up to Palmer's office. And you see, and I, I see, I, it, Gregory, the only man is he went to Palmer go to a bank. <laughs> <laughs> Palmer forgot got a bank, same time. Man. Fuck around. I'll half a bank goes half hour quick. Then, man, they run out the year, believe me, man, and, and, and come back with a 20 pack for Gregory, man. Mm -hmm. Play with Gregory on a Friday, huh? Mm. Or on a jet star, it's hell around right, there. And I'm sitting down trying to get my check. Like, it's a whole room full of people, hungry people. Like, and Mr. Palmer, I felt sorry for the guy after the time because he was under pressure. Mm. They lost some guys, masters. Mm. And the man didn't come back up there with guns. Mm -mm. And Mr. Palmer had to go to church and pay them 10 grand. Uh. And not church, sorry, bank. Mm -mm. Yeah, man, I see that. I see that happen, man. They run up in a Mr. Palmer office with guns, man. They lost the man's masters. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> people were in there to get a deal. Right. Someone went in there to get a deal, gave them a CD. Then time there, it wasn't computer, so I went, I want, I want CD, didn't give it, and they said it was the only copy. So, Mother and bird man, yeah, mother. So the man then went back about two weeks later. I said, Yeah, you ready to sign us now? I said, Oh, you know what? Um, we lost the demo. I said, What do you mean the demo? That was our only copy that cost mm -hmm. 10 grand to make. What are you fucking talking about? Back to that, oh, bare arms ass. Man, then come back with straps. Mm -hmm. Bare arms ass in Jetstar. Mm -hmm. Round this are not good. Oh, man, I forgot a bank and paid the man them, them 10 grand, man, because the man then said they spent 10 grand for make the album. Man. And the man lost the CD. Mm -hmm. Danny Ray, you know, Danny Ray lose it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bear man in there, I hide in the office, everything. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll, 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 I'll a girl in the reception, man, I'll hide behind the counter, everything. I'll, oh, I'm back, I'm sitting in there, that. Right, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm oh, back, I'm sitting in there, man. So, yeah, that was, Jits, that was crazy, man. So, like, I think independence the way forward now, like, mm. to be honest with you. I think it's only necessary to have a label involved mm -hmm. in if they're going to push your thing on a different level mm -hmm. or to, like, co-work co with a label. I don't mm. want to be owned by a label. Mm. Me, I don't mind. I, I wouldn't be. I, I would work with a label again. You mm. know I, mean? I would work with a label, but I wouldn't want to be owned by a label. Okay, okay. Working with a label, I mean, owned by. The reason why I say that, I've mm. come too far for someone to tell me what to do. Mm, 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 mm. I see what you're saying. No fucking way. Mm. Mm. You I must be say. fucking joking. GSYM. Yeah, no, I've come too far for people to tell me what to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, like, yeah, I'll work with a label. I've got, I've got a single yeah. that a label wants to fuck with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I've got, like, an album even. A label wants to fuck with, we can fuck with each other on yeah. a project. Yeah. But like, is he signing me as an artist and kind of having... No, I'm not into that ownership thing. Like, people tell me what sort of songs to make. I don't want no A&R, bro. Basically, see, I can't see. have the a Me and A&Rs don't get on. See. And I got on with Danny Rick. See. But I don't get on with anybody who's going to tell me how to make music. I have to be creatively free in my head. If I want to say, go suck your mother, I want to say, go suck your mother. Mm -hmm. If I Man. want to say, fuck you, I'm going to say, fuck you. If I want to sing a clean song, I'm going to sing a clean song. If I want to sing a dance song, I'm going to sing a... I have to sing what comes to me naturally. That's what music's about for me, a natural moment. You know, they made their kid. through. Yeah. True, true. You know what I'm saying? So you see, like, that's why I think today, that's why I think even we're, it's better for artists like us now. We can just true. do our thing. True, we ain't got to worry about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. making shit for the companies because that mm -hmm. was a different sort of music. I think yeah, now we yeah. can make more real stuff. Like, mm -hmm. we was restricted. I couldn't carry Jetstar certain records to sell. And then certain records, I could still sell and make money off of them independently. I got my market. You know what I mean? Like... Major record companies like to change their eyes. Mold them into what they believe is going to work. It's about the P's, about the business. Fine. I'm willing to work with a project. An 
out of a thing. Mm -hmm. But for you to take control of him, nah, I can't have no one in control. My labels talk movements. Mm -hmm. um, nobody Where in control. Where do you come to the Jets crowd? Why them have just the sub boom? They never kept up to the tags. You mean like the changes of the internet yes. the tags and them things? Yes, yes. Jetstar them? was making a killing when it was selling records, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Jake Star was biggest, biggest distribution on the, biggest. Globe, on the globe. You were glamorous. If you didn't sign to Warner, you was gonna sign to Jetstar. Yeah, I wouldn't sign to Jetstar. Blood. Sorry. Jetstar was the place for all of us. They put out. They put out a couple. You done loads of yeah, projects with them. Nah. He was, he was their favorite up there. Yeah, He's, I mean, he done single deals with them like crazy. Warner still around? Huh? Warner still around? Yeah, Warner still around. Yeah, yeah. Warner yeah, still, yeah. but that's all formulated with different companies. So they even why, never run different. Why did Jetstar? Because they wasn't moving at the time. They didn't move with the time. Jetstar offered me 10 grand at the time. You get me? Warner's offered me 100 grand. 10? Yeah. Mm. 100 grand. Warner's offered me 100 grand. Is that what they offered you, Jetstar? Yeah, that's all they offered me. They're the face team. I offered me 16. Wow. 16, you get me? 16. 16. I didn't offer you 16. Yeah. But Warner offered you 100. Warner offered me 100. It's 100, in mm. the kit, 100 for recording. And one hundred for uh, advance. Yeah. Wow, man. for two hundred altogether. Yeah, with a hundred yeah. advance. Yeah, hundred wow. advance. You heard me. So is a jet wow. star now owned mm. by some other company? Jetstar sold their team you know, to a company called to Phoenix them. International. What the other company? Jetstar. I've been trying to find them. They're gone. The they're stuff. gone. You know what their downfall was? No disrespect to the youngers who was there. You see, Mr. Palmer, they became of age, man. A and R, Danny Ray, them, they passed their sell by day. No disrespect, in sense of music. Do you get what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. needed some young blood in there. You see, his son wasn't music. You see, if Mr. Palmer's son was a music industry guy, that company would still be open. Because mm -hmm. he, he, he could see the son was clever. Do you remember the son? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember the son? He, 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 he looked like he was a very clever yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 he was yeah, very yeah. intelligent. He was I a grafter. It was Hugh that used to saw it. You remember Hugh? Do you remember Hugh? Yeah, of course Hugh. Hugh yeah. became my manager. See, si, see, si. yeah. He Hugh was Francis. Good, yeah, Hugh Francis. Yeah, yeah. he was a good <laughs> <laughs> This is all your team, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've had moments. No, but moments. I must admit, it's nice when you've got a black man's record label. You know? It's mm. nice to have a black man's record. So much black people in one record label. Yeah, yeah it, it was crazy. Nice. It was nice. It's nice. It's it nice. was nice. It's it was nice. nice. It was, you know what? To me, it was really at home. Yeah, yeah. Because I couldn't see myself being around anything different from yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, wanting yeah, to do. Yeah. So I, I was very at home with him. It was a family ride. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was I a family know, ride know, there know, still. Like it was a family ride. There was a lot of people. It was and Karen as well. Karen, yeah, Karen, yeah. Palmer. Karen Palmer. It was a nice yeah, yeah. team and we had good times there, man. We got mm -hmm. Hugh, Danny Ray, mm -hmm. Karen Palmer. I think if Karen and her brother was more into the music side mm -hmm. of things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and passionate about the record company. Mm -hmm. Because Karen used to do the videos, she was really good at the visuals, wasn't she? Yeah, she used yeah, to do the yeah, visuals, yeah, yeah. she done like loads of visuals and stuff. She done the documentary for me and see, she done the ring see. ding ding video. She done, see. she done the reggae reggae sauce video. See. I'm in the reggae reggae sauce video. See. Levi Roots reggae reggae sauce <laughs> video. She done that as well, you know, see. Jetstar see. put that song out. See. Like, if they was more, if they had more passion for record company mm -hmm. and music, they would have kept the music, but I think... Yeah, man. Do you understand what I'm saying, bro? So you see the mum and dad have got to an age now where they just want to go to Jamaica and retire. They're rich. Yeah, man. Mr. Palmer, them, they're a millionaire, right? Mm -hmm. Them, they're a millionaire, fam. They've been selling records since the 60s. You mean stealing people for six, from 60s? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've been teaming since the 60s. They've had a millionaire, fam. Do you get what I'm saying? Proper millionaire. So, like, they just wanted to go and retire, and I think their kids wasn't have that passion for that industry, and I think where it all changed, from record sales to CD sales, and then when the CD sales stopped selling, the MP3, Jetstar, totally... That, they, you see that transition there? Mm -hmm. You see hard copy, whether it was record or CD, you see the transition from hard copy to MP3? Mm -hmm. Collapse. They collapsed there. Collapsed. They didn't know where to. <coughs> they put for my album on iTunes, but they didn't have a clue. And you know what? It, it wasn't their fault. It was a transitional period. Mm. I ain't gonna say it's their fault. Yeah. To be honest with you, mm. it wasn't their fault. You know, mm -hmm. it, they got caught in a transitional period, mm -hmm. and that transitional period was hard copy, fucking digital. 
when people can get internet. internet access to this it. is 2000 by 2008 2009 they closed down by 2009 they closed down mm, mm, mm. You imagine getting i signed in 2006 mm. they put out the album 2007 mm. Mm. And then it was just then they clocked, then they sold the building. They mm. stayed open for a year extra, a little bit. So they opened got, up another you company. You got caught up in a barbed wire between, I, big between barbed. CDs and, and yes, yeah, that's I, what, yeah, yeah, I yeah, got yeah, caught yeah. in that barbed wire there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I watched them collapse in the in the period of the barbed wire. Mm. I watched them collapse, but one thing I did learn was how to run my own ship. See, see. Because I learned a lot from Jetstar, like being around there mm-hmm. from the A and R from the person who used to promote my music, see, see. the promotion side. I got their mailing list, they got Agatha. Oh. <laughs> the girl got Agatha, she was a reception. I got their whole mailing list, all the DJs. See. And I learned how to do, mm-hmm. I learned how to mm-hmm. actually run my own, because I was very powerful before I signed to them. Yeah. I had my videos. Just I never shot one video for me. Mm. So that was one thing I never got out of. I know, I, no one's ever shot a video for me. Mm-hmm. I've done all that shit myself. Mm-hmm. So even Tug Loving is my video, and I spent so much money in that video because I was signed at the time, and I wanted it to look proper. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I spent three thousand pounds on the video just for it to look the part because I didn't want to be signed to a company and have a low budget video. Mm-hmm. And they never paid for Tug Love because that by Tug Love by the time that time they was going bust. See, I got see. my money off them for the first album, but they weren't trying to give me no more. See, they see. was got it. You reckon they're gonna be a way how they could solve this so normally artists can eat the food? Well, now they can, man. But Green Sleeves, Green Sleeves doing the same thing as well, though, isn't it? Now, nah, I heard. Green Sleeves offered, I was a day late mm-hmm. with Green Sleeves. Yeah. They, offered, they offered me. Offered your deal as well, yeah. Yeah, but I've done signs of Jetstar. Mm-hmm. And they was offering me more as well. See, see. It was offering me more as well. See. But it's, it's all things said and done. That would have cost, man. Right? If you didn't take the Jamaican route, that would have cost. If you never jumped, you jumped back on that plane. <laughs> <laughs> you would have had the green sleeves, wouldn't No, but maybe. I don't mm-hmm. know, because now nah, Steely would have got me a deal. See, see. Steely see. was looking in America. Steely was talking yeah. to American companies to yeah. get a deal for me. See, see. Because Steely was fucking with a lot of people in America. Okay. And okay. Steely's, Steely's deals are in America. Okay. Even though his publishing's over here. Okay. But he he, he was he, he was talking to a lot of American companies. Who's he with? Like, EMI. Yes. See, his publishing's see. EMI. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I remember. I remember yeah. when he sent me some things. Yeah, yeah. But like, I own my publishing now. I own mm. all my music, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I own every fucking thing apart from mm-hmm. the Fidesz album. Mm. So I get. So I, I only own twenty five percent. Of my for days album, which mm-hmm. is an absolute joke, and I will be taking you motherfuckers to court though. <laughs> but I ain't stressing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, apart from that, I own all the rights. So, it's like mm-hmm. now we're in a place where we can own all the rights mm-hmm. and make off of our music mm-hmm. from monetization, mm-hmm. you know, <coughs> streams, mm-hmm. Apple Music, Spotify, mm-hmm. Tidal. Tidal's paying the most right now. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? People ain't really, the iTunes, iTunes sales have gone down, mm-hmm. you know? But I, I think it's a great time for us. Yeah, it's, to a, great, be, it's a great time for, it's for, for artists to be independent. Mm-hmm. I think like, dance artists just keep, independent, that's like, where the independent shit comes in. I think because there's so many people that are independent, that's where the quality's dropping mm-hmm. with the production and shit. So I think everyone just keep the quality up, but keep it independent. Independent is the way forward. Mm-hmm. Make the companies come after you. Cause mm-hmm. you know what, me now not for no bomba company, <laughs> no, the suck your mother, me? <laughs> me! <laughs> Big bad waga, you must be fucking crazy. <laughs> You gotta come and put the bag up my fucking doorstep and beg me. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You gotta line up the money because I ain't going to no company. I'm very happy, mm-hmm. independent. For me to even sign a project, you gotta come to me so we create the heat. Mm-hmm. We, the, like the tune says, we tell the DJs what to play. We make the bangers, we make the songs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The companies have to come after us. Mm-hmm. And you wanna fuck with us then we there. We make the songs. You, and you don't tell us how to make the songs, we make the heat. Mm. You know what I mean? I could have a production deal. Mm. I'm sure we'd like, well, they give us a deal to produce music, but you, you don't give us no restricts over that music. Mm-hmm. Like what Birdman has, Cash Money is under yeah. Universal. Mm-hmm. But he's allowed to make what the fuck he wants, sign who the fuck he wants, mm-hmm. and put out what the fuck he wants and give it to the company. Put out. Right. All right, we might formulate a couple of commercial tunes along the way, but that's just how the business set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But apart from that, no restrictions in your creativity, and that is the main thing, the passion and the creativity, because that is why we are here now. Mm-hmm. 
in the business for, real, for the real. passion and the creativity so that's so important to me there's no money that can buy that mm. no money can buy passion and creativity for me anyway mm. the next man might sell out their passion and creativity for money stuff no no mm. no no fucking way so yeah so glad kid before we wrap it up my bread up mm. tell me what's coming out tell me what's going yeah, on yeah yeah only put things only put things <coughs> i've got a tune with a producer named jamin jamin yeah you know jamin Jamming, 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 I've heard of jamming. Him. Yeah, he knows you, man, because we mentioned your name yesterday mm. in the studio. I got a producer. I got. Big up jamming. Big up jamming. Still, um, I'm working with jamming at the moment. We've got a tune called. Um, what's the tune called again? Um, Inamikia. 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 Yeah, Inamikia. Yeah. And then um, I've got a next tune that's doing good things at the moment. The Ed Sheeran remix. Check it out. Yeah, yeah I heard that. That's it. banging still. New really. dance. Yeah. Check it out. Mm. Brand new thing on Kicker Records. What was them other songs that you sent me? They was about. They out as well. Um, no, and I've got something coming with Ras Demo, it's on its way. Ras Demo, big yeah. up Ras Demo. Big up Ras Demo, it's starting on Inner Yard production, because he's got his own production. Yeah, 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 Inner but you know, Ras Demo's production's hard from day one. For real, for real. Yeah, I heard him produce some, I think he produced an album for Cowboy Ranger. See, si, And si. That, I heard it was, the production was hard. Yeah, he's tough. Hard, he's tough, nah, Ras Demo's doing his thing, he always is so, good on production. Yeah, man, big up Ras Demo. Mm. So there's all he put things in the, in the pipeline on his way, you get me? Mm -hmm. So look out, but the weight lift, I want everybody to go out there and lick, lick that one day, you get me? Mm. Everybody to listen to that tune there, because that tune there is tough. Weight lift. Weight lift. We at lift. It Give us a piece, I ain't got. Weight lift. Weight lift. lift. Move on the body like a gymnastic now. Chest lift. Hand lift. To do this, to dance about the physical lift. Yow. Weight lift. Weight lift. Hand in the ear like a damn lunatic now. Weight lift. Weird, yeah. To do this, I'm not sure what Yeah. That's it. I'm a man with no Next time I go to the gymnasium, I'm a bad man, I'm not a gym. Next time I visit the gymnasium to work, I'll be listening to weightlifts. Man, I'm looking forward to the visuals. For real. And really I'm looking blessing. forward to the combination. Definitely, definitely. And I'm looking forward to 2018. All right. God bless you. And pleasure to have you here, my Respect, brother. Brother. Respect. Legendary. Glamour Kid. See me, I said, Narcos Coffee Podcast. One need a big up. Big up. Big up. Big up. Sponsored by Mama War. Love.